Hello, hi, and welcome everyone to another live session of ODA class. My name is Mithali, and today I will help you master adjectives in the next 15 minutes. I graduated two years ago with a degree from Ohio University in computer science and engineering, and I have been teaching even while I was at university and now for more than three years, and I have mentored more than 15,000 students. Like I said, our focus today is going to be adjectives, and our lesson is divided into three different parts. First, what are adjectives? Second, let's learn the degrees of adjectives. And lastly, the types of adjectives. Starting off with what exactly adjectives are. Adjectives are words used to describe the noun or the pronouns in a sentence. For example, she bought a beautiful red dress. I know you all know what nouns are. Nouns are naming words. They may name places, people, or even things. In this example, our noun is dress. And we have two adjectives here, beautiful and red. Both of these words tell us more about the noun, which is the dress. Let's take another example. I have a blue phone cover. In this example as well, blue is an adjective which tells us more about our noun, which is the phone cover. So what do they tell us about nouns? Adjectives can tell us the size, shape, quality, or the quantity, or even more things about our nouns. In our earlier example, red and beautiful, they both tell us about the quality of the dress that we have bought. You might ask me, how to identify adjectives? Students, adjectives usually answer questions about the nouns or the pronouns. For example, Mumbai is a crowded city. Our noun here is city and our word crowded tells us what kind of city is Mumbai. So this tells us what kind. That is one possible question that adjectives can answer. In our earlier example, red and beautiful, both words once again tell us what kind of dress we have bought. Let's take one more example now. We have Rani earns more money than Raj. Our noun here will be money and our adjective will be more. This answers the question, how much? Not how much money does Rani earn, but how much money does Rani earn with comparison to how much Raj earns? Once again, this answers the question, how much? We have learned what adjectives are. They are words used to modify or describe our nouns or pronouns. They usually answer questions about the nouns or pronouns and tell us more about the size, quality, quantity, etc. about the noun. Can you tell me the difference between these two adjectives here? We have good and we have better. Can you identify the difference between these two adjectives? I will give you a second, think about it, and let me know if you can find the difference. Students, I hope you have noticed that good is simply a description word. It can be used to just say something about a person or a thing. For example, that red dress looks good. But better is used to compare two things. For example, the red dress looks better than the blue one. So what we are doing when we use better is comparing two things. This brings us to the different degrees of adjectives. We have three degrees of adjectives. First, positive. Second, comparative. And third, we have the superlative degree. Let's talk about the positive degree first. What these do is just tell you a little bit more about the noun. There is no comparison in the positive degree adjective. For example, Divya is a smart girl. All the adjective smart does is tell us that Divya is a smart girl. There is no comparison here. That is a beautiful red dress. Once again, no comparison. But in our second degree, 
which is called the comparative degree, we are making a comparison between two nouns or pronouns. For example, this dress is better than that one. Or Divya is smarter than her sister. One here we are comparing Divya and her sister. And we are comparing their smartness to say that Divya is smarter than her sister. So remember, positive degree, no comparison. Comparative degree, comparison between two nouns or pronouns. Now let's see our third degree, which is our superlative degree. In the superlative degree of adjective, we're making a comparison between more than two nouns or pronouns. More often than not, this is a one-to-many comparison. For example, here, Divya is the smartest student in her class. What we are doing is comparing Divya, one, to all of the other students in her class. So it is one to many. So what we do in the superlative degree is usually compare one to many. Einstein was the smartest scientist of his time. Once again, we are comparing Einstein with all of the other scientists of his time. And we are saying that he was the smartest one of that time. So three degrees, positive, no comparison. Comparative, comparing two nouns or pronouns. And superlative, comparison between more than two nouns or pronouns. Moving on to our third component of today's lesson, the types of adjectives. Today we will cover the five main types of adjectives. Starting with descriptive, then we will do quantitative, demonstrative, possessive, and interrogative. Firstly, we have descriptive adjectives. All descriptive adjectives do is add an attribute to the noun or the pronoun. For example, I have a fast car. Our noun here is car. And our adjective fast just tells us about what kind of car you have. Our second type is going to be quantitative. Quantitative adjectives, as the name suggests, tell us about the quantity of the noun or the pronoun. For example, I bought six eggs. We have our noun, which is eggs. And we have six, which is our quantitative adjective, which tells us how many eggs I bought from the store. Now, these adjectives usually answer the question, how much or how many? Okay, descriptive, simply add an attribute. Quantitative, tell us about the quantity and answer the question, how much or how many? We have our third, which is demonstrative adjectives. These are used to point something or someone out. So it's used to talk about one thing in particular and point that thing or person out. For example, this, that, these, and those. These words are used to make a distinction and point out something in particular. That house looks beautiful. So this word, that, is helping us identify which house talking about in particular. Our third type is demonstrative, which is used to point something or someone out. Now we have our fourth type, which is possessive. Possessive adjectives are used to signify ownership. For example, my, his, your, our, theirs. All of these words are used to talk about what is mine or what belongs to me. For example, my sister's name is Ragini. Here our noun will be sister and my is going to be our possessive adjective that tells us whose sister we are talking about. And our last type of adjectives is interrogative. These are words that are used to ask questions. We have three of these. We have what, whose, and which. For example, which mobile phone do you use? So our word which is just used to ask the question about the mobile phone. Five type students, we have done descriptive, then we have done quantitative, demonstrative, possessive, and interrogative. 
I hope you all remember all of these types because next I'm going to ask you to identify the adjectives and also its type. Number one we have the tiger is a ferocious animal. Can you identify how many adjectives we have and what is the type of these adjectives? I'll take a second students and think about it. Here we only have one adjective. Let's first find the noun. Our noun is animal and our adjective is ferocious. It tells us what kind of animal is the tiger. This is going to be a descriptive adjective. Next, we have number two. Whose bag is this? Can you identify our adjectives and their types here, students? Once again, here we have two adjectives. First, we have whose. This is the interrogative type of adjective. It's used to ask a question, as you can see. And second, we have this. It's used to point out which bag we are talking about in particular. So this is going to be our demonstrative type of adjective. And our last example, my homework was very long. Can you identify the adjectives and their types here, students? My homework was very long. Here, once again, we have two. First is my, which is going to be the possessive type of adjective. And we have long, which is going to be a descriptive adjective. It tells us about what kind of homework we had. So remember students, we have five types of adjectives that we have covered today. Let's do a quick summary. Adjectives tell us more about the noun or the pronoun. We did three degrees of adjectives. First is positive, no comparison. Comparative, comparison between two nouns or pronouns. And superlative, where we have a comparison between more than two nouns or pronouns. And lastly, we did the types of adjectives. We did descriptive, which only adds an attribute to the noun. We did quantitative, which tells us about the quantity of the noun or the pronoun. These usually answer the question, how much or how many? Then we did demonstrative, which are used to point out which thing we're talking about in particular. Then we did possessive, which are used to signify ownership of the noun or the pronoun. And lastly, we did interrogative, which are words that are used to ask questions. Now, students, you can take a screenshot here so you can remember all of the degrees and the types. And I know that you're having fun learning with me. So if you want to continue learning with me and having fun, what I'm going to ask you to do is download the ODA class app because here you can join free live sessions and you can earn rewards, coin rewards for learning. So what we're going to do is learn and earn at the same time. To download the app, students, you can either click on the link in the description box or you can go to your Play Store or App Store and search for the ODA Class app, install, and then log in with your phone number so you can join our classes. I was talking about those coins. What will you do once you have enough coins? You will go to the ODA Mall and you will redeem these coins for exciting gifts like a water bottle or a smart watch or even a smart phone. So students, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and download the ODA class app so you can continue learning with us and have fun. Link, like I said, is in the description box. And if you enjoyed learning with us students, you can like and share and subscribe to our channel so that you can see more live classes like this. Thank you.